guys back again been doing some videos today i wanted to give y'all a health update of what's been going on i shared with you um in a video um so frustrated and <laughs> your outpouring of love is just unbelievable i mean i'm still trying to answer everybody who has written me messages um <clears throat> I was having a very difficult time after I saw the new neurologist. He wanted me to have an angiogram. And I was having a very difficult time getting in. And I finally got a medical assistant to listen to me and to believe that they did not want me to go through the process of a brand new patient at UAB because I had already been there. And UAB is such a huge medical hospital that the waiting period can be three to six months. And so I've already, it's already been three weeks. And um, But they did call me last week, and I do have an angiogram scheduled for Monday. I think that's the, let's see, 10th? I think that's the 10th. Anyway. Uh, this coming Monday, I will be having an angiogram done. Now, my praying peeps, <laughs> I appreciate your prayers in advance. I appreciate your prayers that day. Um, it's kind of an all day, not a procedure, but it will pretty much take all day. And as soon as, you know, I can get to a place where I can let y'all know, you know, what we found out, I will. I am believing and trusting in God for great things. I know that he's not through with me yet, but it is scary to have a brain bleed. It is scary because you naturally as a human being think, am I going to have another one? Will it be worse? And so what this doctor wants to see if they can tell where it came from, if there are any weaknesses there, should they get in there and find an aneurysm of any kind, they will schedule to fix it. Um, I don't think they will do anything while they're in there. Well, no, I know they won't because the angiogram is um, where they, it's kind of like an arteriogram. They um, make a uh, incision in your groin area and then they go up with a catheter type thing and shoot dye into your brain into your major blood vessels so it's supposed to be a very safe procedure and uh, but when it's you any procedure is a little bit scary and um, i have trusted in god i have believed in him I, I wouldn't be surprised if they got in there and said there is no there is no uh, brain bleed um, that's what I'd love to hear and that's the you know I, I say God if that's what you've got in store for me if that's you know if that's the glory we will give you the glory for it um, but I am glad I, I'm not glad to be having it because I, I am nervous about it but I am very glad that they are pursuing every avenue that they can to see what caused it and why and uh, I know that y'all will be praying for me and uh, I trust in him. I believe in him. He is my God. He is my strength. I also know that we all have a time appointed for us to die. And um, you say, well, Zizia, don't be morbid like that. Well, I try to live my life accordingly that this could be the last day I live on this earth. We all need to live that way. Um, and I tell my girls, as far as, as the coming back of God when, and when Jesus comes back, we have to plan for it like it's today, but we have to live as if it's not for another hundred years. And so that's the way I feel about this. I know that I'm in God's hands. I know that, without a doubt. I know that. And um, I know that he has a work for me to do, and I'm just trusting in him. He has all the answers. He's the way maker. He's the miracle worker. Oh, man. Um, we had Bible study, our first Bible study Tuesday night, and it, I had 18 young ladies here, and it was just absolutely beautiful. And um, so he's got a lot of stuff for me to do, and uh, but he's a good, good God. And if you don't know him today, 
you should lay everything aside and get to know him because there can be peace in the midst of your storm. Uh, my girlfriend, I, I probably have shared this with y'all, but she got tickled because she said, Suzanne, when you called me, you were so calm. And um, John and I had prayer and the Holy Spirit just swept over me, swept over me. Of course I was scared, but I was also had the peace of God that the Bible says passes all the understanding of man. And so I had that peace also. So just be in prayer for me this coming Monday. And I think that's the 10th. Gosh, I should have looked at it before, but I believe that's the 10th. And um, just be in prayer for me. And as soon as I can let you know something, results on it, I will let you know. I love you guys. I just wanted to make sure and stop a few minutes. I am fixing to decorate for fall. John just called me on his way to another campus and said, have you got the house decorated yet? <laughs> Like, no, <laughs> you're calling me and putting pressure on me. So I have about six tubs of fall decoration sitting here on the floor. So I'm using to get busy. You know there's going to be a fall home tour. And I will be doing the Christmas, um, all the Christmas, I'll be doing a haul on that that I bought at Hobby Lobby. But I better get busy decorating because that man's going to be expecting this house to look like something when he gets home. I'll talk to y'all later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.